Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more CK2 Saxon Savagery. Playing with the Reapers do expansion. Alright, so we're still not the king, uh, unfortunately, but I'm hoping to change that in the near future. We are still actively attempting to murder my liege. In the meantime, not a lot going on. West Francia is currently fighting a major revolt. Middle Francia is having a really hard time. Denmark is having a really hard time. Honestly, if I could just become the King of Saxony, this would be a great opportunity to attack somebody while they're weak. But alas, that does not appear to be an option. We can actually take a look at the uh, diplomatic relations map mode here to get an idea of what kind of wars are available to us. For example, against West Francia, we could conquer something. We could also try to make West Francia into a tributary. Uh, obviously, that's not a very advisable decision, but that's the kind of war we do have available to them. Against, um, Obotricia. Obotricia? We can make them a tributary or subjugate them. These guys are already tributaries. We cannot make Pomerania into a tributary because they're not uh, adjacent to me. We can make Denmark into a tributary, or but I want to subjugate them. If I make them into a tributary, I won't be able to declare war on them later, so I don't want to do that. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of subjugation, but not a lot of tributary stuff up here. However... There is a tributary option in Norway, for some reason. I'm not too sure how that's calculated. I suspect it's because they're only one water tile away, as opposed to over here in Sweden. You know, even if I don't have a direct border to them, they're several water tiles away. So I suspect that's the reasoning behind it. So we could go into a few wars in Norway and uh, make them all into tributaries and get a lot of prestige that way. It's not even a terrible idea. We might actually do that. But for now, let's kind of collect our prestige and our money. A war camp has been built in the Braunschweig. I believe it's Braunschweig? Braunschweig. I think. I looked it up, and I think I'm saying it correctly now. Braunschweig? I think. I was saying Braunschweig before, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's technically correct. I don't know. I, look, I did the best that I could, all right? I'm an American trying to speak German, and I don't speak a lick of German. So, there you go. I have a co-conspirator? I apparently have a co-conspirator. Oh, I do! Detlef, the commander of Saxony. My co-conspirator has let me know that Grand Chief Theoderic of Saxony will die by poisoned wine at an upcoming banquet. Classic. Death by wine. That's the best way to go. All right, let's try it. Please kill him. K kill him. Die. Die. Leash die. I want my king to die so that I can become king. There we go. Success. It seems the wine did not agree with Grand Chief Theoderic of Saxony. He died not knowing the name of his killer. <laughs> Insidious. It was alcoholism. Alcoholism kills kill people. I think I will celebrate with beer. Nice. And apparently we also have some troops. Hang on. My steward, Givert, tells me that we have a small army of warriors. Okay, so raising my prestige apparently has got me some free troops. I should probably use those. Cool. So he died under suspicious circumstances, right? And now his son takes the throne. Uh, Grand Chief Wichimon of Saxony. He has a daughter, but no son. So I am technically the heir to Saxony. So if I could find a way to kill you, I'd be in good shape. 153% plot power right now. Let's auto-invite people. And some people are willing to be bribed. In fact, even the Duke of Holstein is willing to join in on this one. So let's send him a gift and try to bribe him into joining in on the plot. I could bribe other people as well. Godi of Hamburg? Some sort of priest guy. I don't know who, but I'll spend 15 ducats to increase my odds of becoming the king. This sounds great. There's even some guy named Diedrich who wants to kill him. Well, let's see how the original plot does. I need to pick a new ambition. Um, build a war chest, groom an heir. I will become exalted among men. If I can do so many tributary wars, it actually may not be that hard to get a lot of prestige. We'll try. Okay. I have become the steward for the new king. And I want to become exalted among men. So, I don't like the fact that you lose the ambition to become king of Saxony if the current king dies. I've always thought that's kind of stupid. Because... The fact that the king has died does not lessen my ambition to become the king. In fact, it's more resolved than ever. I don't know. But that's how it is. Let's make sure that we spy on this guy as well. Just on the off chance we get a random event that allows us to murder him. Okay, uh, we need to declare a war. Who can I make a tributary? Um, this guy I can't. Why not? You're two tiles away. Apparently that's... No, I can make you a tributary. So why was the diplomatic map mode saying I couldn't? 
No, it totally can. Hovering over it, it does say I can't make it a tributary. I thought that if I had a yellow, that means that I have some sort of Cassus Belly against them, but I guess I'm wrong. Okay, uh, so you're the closest. How many troops do you have? 400. Versus my 1300. Yeah, 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 let's just declare war on this guy. Make you into a tributary. Perfect. That'll be worth... Let's see, if we win the war, 200 prestige. And also, all of my vassals like me better for it. See, that's another added benefit. You can get money, you can get prestige, you can get more troops to send into war, and your vassals are happier. So it unites the realm. It's perfect. It's like the thing to do. You're an iconoclast. You're an orthodox heretic? Really? I'm not sure how that happens, but okay, he's uh, sort of vaguely kind of Christian. Right, well, let's raise up my vassals. Uh, I don't think that I need to call in my tributaries. I'd rather let them build up their levy again so I could use them for something a little bit more, you know, useful. By the way, notice that my name is kind of inserted over this now, Brunswick, because they're my tributary. I don't know, it basically just kind of gives you an idea that, yeah, these guys serve the Duke of Brunswick. Anyway, let's go to uh, Skane, or however you pronounce that. We'll try to arrive here with all of my troops, and we will crush these guys. No point on spying on Grand Chief Theoderic. I'm aware. That is why I turn my attention to somebody else. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Hala, is pregnant. Oh, you beautiful 19-year-old. I love you. Making me babies and everything. Oh, it's wonderful. You've decided to institute minimum tribal organization law, but some people want favors from me. I will accept, and I will vote however you ask me to vote. Um, how, how, how do you, how do you want me to vote? For real, though, how, how do you want me to vote? Uh, laws. In Saxony. Gwen, Chief, Fisherman. Um. Approve, maybe? I don't know what this guy wants me to vote. Okay, we have increased levy reinforcements in my capital, that's great. It's not especially relevant to me, but either way. Okay, so this guy now owes me a favor, which actually could be useful to me someday when I do become the king. When I'm king, there are many things I shall do to them. My liege's council is discontent for three months. Good, that means it's a prime opportunity to murder him. Maybe I should go ahead and just spend some more money to try and get more people in on the plot. I mean, it's worth it in the end if I become king, right? So, all right. Let's send some money. Actually, one thing I should always be careful about, make sure that you do not invite a drunkard, a drunkard in on this. You're honest. See, why would I want to have an honest person join in the plot? This guy's likely to crack under pressure. That would spoil everything. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. I'm suffering some attrition right now, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay, well, let's group you all together and go march on him. Okay, Bruno and Waltard. Do we have any more commanders? I do not. Can I appoint any new ones? Uh, some of these guys are my counselors. Gervert. Bruno's just a courtier. Sure, let's put Bruno in charge. Even having a little bit of more martial can be kind of useful. I mean, he's not exactly great, but it's worth a shot, right? Hey, there's your troops. You're in Varmerland. What are you doing there? I don't know. We're gonna siege down your top holding. How do you like that? We only got 200 reinforcements here. 15.6% is not too bad. All right, well, I smell free prestige. That makes me happy. Warriors raised. My efforts at building the legend have been met with great success. Bands of warriors have converged and on halt. So my king will be pleased. I just got him some free troops. Uh, specifically, I got him about 300 troops. Okay. I mean, I don't know what he's gonna do with them. Hopefully not drag me into any stupid wars, but... You know, there you go. All right, can I please kill your troops? A daughter was born. Damn, I was uh, really hoping for a son, but alas, it's another girl. Okay. Grand Chief has declared a war on Pomerania. He's trying to subjugate Pomerania now, is he? Uh, okay. I mean, that's not terrible. It's not quite where I wanted to expand my kingdom when I become the king, but, you know, okay. Sure. For now, I'll allow that. An offer of peace, you say. I accept your terms. Become my tributary and give me more prestige. Now, how do I want to spend this prestige? I could save it up to become exalted among men, which would not be a bad idea. Am I called in on this war? I'm not. He has not called in his allies yet. So let's go ahead and send my troops home, but he may very well call me in shortly. A war camp has been built. Good. 
Gert has been imprisoned. Wasn't, um... What's this? The Count I'm confused. So, my king declared war. The council voted against it, but he did it anyway. And it says that I voted for it, voted against it. Well, which is it? I don't know. But somehow, we're at war, and I suspect the council is going to be especially mad at you. Because you defied the will of the council, right? He's also a socializer. Hmm. He has no intrigue, though. Seriously, though, can I please kill you? I really want to kill you. Like, you don't even know how much I want to kill you. Here's a bunch of people who actually want to join in on the plot. Well, just do it of your own accord. Stop asking me for money. What do you think I am? Made of money? That's insane. No. All right, well, I'm just going to go disband my troops. Hang on. High Chief Hesso, my co-conspirator, the Duke of Holstein, has sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards of an abandoned inn on a path Grand Chief Wishman will travel with his escort. Once they are seated at a table, kaboom! I approve. Uh, basically, maneuver is potentially explosive because of all the amounts of methane. I think that's how that works. Are you going to die? Do I get to become king now? Success. Grand Chief Wishimur perished in the manure explosion. Unfortunately, the farmer who provided the manure revealed my name. Good, but bad. People will know that I killed the king, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm king. <laughs> I am king! I have succeeded in my goals. By episode three, no less, I am now the king of Saxony. I have inherited the Grand Chiefdom and all other titles. Beautiful. All right. Hang on. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. So I am still in a subjugation war. I really hope this does not take up my uh, subjugation cast of spelly, because I didn't want it to. Uh, let's go ahead and raise up the rest of my levy. There's another 800 troops. We'll send them over there. Um, I am going to go ahead and call in my vassals. There we go. Now, as far as stabilizing the realm, what did I just gain? I'm up to 8 domain right now. Uh... So I own Brandenburg, Altmark, Anhalt, Lüneburg, Hamburg, Braunschweig, Cell or whatever, and Ostfriesland. Okay, so what actually belongs to me? What should belong to me? De jure duchies. Okay, so Hamburg be should belong to the Duke of Holstein because this is his de jure duchy. So I'm sure he's going to be pretty mad at me because he wants, yeah, he desires the chiefdom of Hamburg. And he has a very reasonable, you know, desire for it. So to make him happy... I would like nothing better than to give it to you. Uh, why can't I? Why, why, why can't I? I want to grant a title. He's apparently considering another offer from us. Oh, we're expecting an answer from a call to arms. Never mind, that's why. Okay. People will join in the war. That's good, good, good. Okay. Now, I would like to grant you the Chief of Hamburg. Because that is appropriate. Include loyal titles. There you go. Thank you. That should make him pretty happy, I would imagine. Um, I'm a known murderer, of course, but that only slightly upsets people. Let's see. How are we looking over here in this chiefdom? It's going down by 11%. Of course, you will honor your obligation. Some people refuse to join, including the uh, Count of Osnabrück. But most people did join, no problem. Okay. Uh, the capital is an on halt. What duchy is this? This is a duchy with West Francia. I would much rather move my capital province to this duchy and hold on to this for the rest of the game. It's a larger duchy. It's five provinces. Five counties. Can I make this my capital? Make capital. Only can do that during peacetime. But yeah, I think I will move it here. Okay. Okay. That's not so bad. Let's get all the troops together, let's worry about winning this war first, and then we'll be fine. I can press, press a de jour ducal um, claim against West Francia, who still has to deal with their own revolt. How strong are you right now? You got 3,000 troops versus my 2,000. I'd really rather not. We have some open council positions that we ought to use. Uh, you suck really bad at Chancellor. I would much rather have made you anyone else. Can I make you into, say, an advisor... Yes, Smeldegaz apparently has that role. You should be my marshal, sir. Would much rather have that. Why can't I? Hang on. My council. 
Uh, change council position. Do it. He is my marshal now. Okay. You change council position. Uh, if something else in mind. Change my mind. Okay, hang on. I want to fire you from the council. Fire Counselor. He's going to be upset by this, but I don't really have a choice, because I can't have as my Chancellor. Well, okay, let's do something a little bit differently. So let's find just a better Chancellor in general. Uh, how about um, Bilong? You have 10. Well, actually, what's the best stewardship I have? 15? Hmm. Okay, let's make Bilong into my steward. Let's make you into my seer. Let's make my wife into my spy master. I don't care what a mayor thinks of me. It's not that important. I don't care if he thinks he's a powerful vassal. So instead, I'm going to make Adelgar into a counselor. And you, I would like to... Uh, my council advisor... I can't make him into an advisor. Why not? Wait, that doesn't sound right. Why can't I make you into a counselor? Or an advisor? I thought that I could. Well, that's interesting. But he's sucked so bad! He's got some horrible stats! A point... I don't have any honorary titles to give. Designate a regent. Huh. Well, he still likes me, even though he's not on the council, and that's kind of a problem, but... For that, we will award you an honorary title. I will make you... My law speaker? It's worth a salary. I have to pay for it. But it's a great honor. I'll make you my law speaker. That'll make him happy. Okay. I think the realm is more or less stable. If we click on the realm tree... Smell the gods of Weimar. You don't like me that much. Nor does the guy of Osnabrück. Where's Osnabrück? That should be in my duchy. I'm gonna spy. Choose a plot. I want to revoke the chieftain of Weimar. No, I don't want to do that. Why can't I, uh... Why can't I... I, I guess I don't have enough plot power. Hmm. Okay, well, I wanted to try and revoke a title of, like, Oldenburg. This guy's still uh, sitting in my dungeon, so... But, I do not think that I would have enough plot power. Hmm. Okay, well, for now, we'll just kind of move forward with this war, but... Yeah, see, my advisor slot, I could get an advisor... The thing about having an advisor, though, is that's more votes that could be used against me, you know what I mean? Hmm. No. No, I don't think I care that much. Let's go through my minor titles of my commanders, though. What's a herdman? Trusted companion in arms. It's worth respect and a monthly salary. Very small one, though. Interesting. Uh, the Duke of Holstein is a lightfoot leader, and he's an aggressive leader. Okay, that actually could be kind of useful, even with your terrible uh, martial skill. 8, 5, 17. See, that's the kind of stuff that I want. You become a commander, please. Let's put you in charge there, because of your pursuit value. Put you in charge. Put you in charge. Okay, now we have some reasonable commanders. The center's a little bit weak, but we should crush on the flank. And that'll have to be good enough for the time being. We are good. We have successfully sieged that down. Let's try to jump on these troops. Looks like we have some reinforcements coming from Sorbia. Sorbia. Why Sorbia? They're allies? Why are you allies? Tribal vassal. Tributaries. I'm guessing somehow he was an ally with the previous king when he got called into war. Let's change my focus, because I don't care that much about intrigue anymore. Let's switch to a martial focus. Specifically hunting, because this will increase my health. I can't change focus for about a month. That's no problem. We can handle. We can wait that long. Speed four. Whoop. Pause. Just canceled out for some reason. All right, get my health up. That means I'm likely to live a longer life. Also, the extra martial value is pretty nice. 
We managed to kill 292 men. Let's try to pursue them and get some extra kills. Whoa! You used an event to spawn some extra troops, didn't you? That's cheating, sir. I definitely don't think I approved of that. But it looks like we're going to win anyway by some miracle, so okay. Yeah, I think he uh, either he got an event to defend himself, or he spent some prestige to raise up a host of um, troops. Which can happen. These guys will arrive here soon. They are worth plenty of war score. Uh, we're up to 96 right now. You know what? Let's try to siege down one more province, I guess? No, we want to catch these guys out. Can I get more war score, please? I think I'm capped out on war score right now. Okay. Well, oops. I did not want to retreat there, but oh well. Knowing that that's true, let's just try to siege down one more province. Because I think they changed something in the Reaper's Do that you can only get up to 75%. Yeah, you're capped out at 75% battles from, um, uh, war score from battles. So now you have to siege things down. It used to be you could just kind of wipe out an army and they would just immediately give up. No longer the case. My wife is pregnant again. Okay. I'm hoping for a son this time. Please don't make me like Tevia from Fiddler on the Roof. I could really use some boys. Let's offer peace. And you've been subjugated. And we will disband my troops. And we are threatening. I have 6% threat, but it's going down by 0.4. Uh, some people might form defensive pacts against me. Do I still have subjugation against you? I do. Good. So, I got to use my previous king's subjugation war to expand my holdings, but I can still use this to conquer Denmark, which is what I want to do next time, if I can just get a little bit more troops. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. We are the king! I consider this to be a lot of progress. And now we need to use it to grow Saxony into a super powerful tribe that takes over Scandinavia, reforms the religion, and then berserker charges down into Europe. Or into Germany. Germania. It'll be great! Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.